So when you're giving a presentation, it's really, really important to make sure it's organized clearly and concisely. So what I teach people when I'm coaching them is how to use what I call the diamond format. And the diamond format has a beginning where it starts real focused in the beginning, and then in the middle, you develop your presentation, and then at the end, it comes to a very tight close. So let me give you an example. In the beginning, you're going to want to talk about what is your objective. State it clearly right up front what your objective is and what you're trying to accomplish in the presentation. Also, at the beginning, you want to talk about what's in it for your audience. How are they going to benefit from what it is you're going to be talking about? So that's the beginning, very focused. Then when you get into your middle of your presentation or the meat of the presentation, that's where you're going to have no more than three things. So when I'm teaching the diamond, I tell people, whatever it is you're talking about, try to keep it into three buckets in that middle part. Don't go into seven things or five things. Have three things. And I'll give you an example in a moment. And then at the end, when the presentation comes to a close, you want to summarize the three points you just made. You want to have a conclusion, which goes right back to what your original objective is. Your conclusion goes back to your objective. And then finally, you want to have an action step. So here's an example. Let's say I'll take a silly example. You're giving a presentation on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And let's say you're going to teach a bunch of people how to make the ideal peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Right up front, you're going to welcome them and say, our objective today is for me to teach you how to make the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the world. And then I'm going to talk about the benefits of that. Your family's going to love you more. They're going to live long, happy lives, whatever the benefits are. Then in the middle, the three things might be, number one, we're going to talk about the peanut butter. Number two, we're going to talk about the jelly. And number three, we're going to talk about the bread and how to slice it. So that could be the meat of the presentation. And then at the end, I'm going to summarize quickly. So number one, we talked about the peanut butter. Make sure you have skippy peanut butter, crunchy. Number two, the jelly. You want Welch's strawberry jelly. And three, Wonder Bread sliced on the diagonal. So a quick summary. And the conclusion is, if you do all these things, you're going to have the ultimate peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then you give them an action step. We'll see you next Tuesday. Everybody come back with their samples, and we'll try them. So use the diamond format. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end.